Hello, my name is uh, Kester Nehan. I'm the CEO of Nortel Vision and I'd like to thank you, Susanna and the organizers of OIS Tel Aviv for giving us an opportunity to showcase Nortel Vision. At Nortel Vision, we provide remote diagnostic monitoring services to patients suffering from age-related macular degeneration. The Foshi Home program is used to detect the conversion from intermediate dry to wet AMD and our home OCT pipeline technology will be used to monitor patients with exudative retinal diseases that are enter anti therapy. The patient journey starts with a referral from a retina specialist, comprehensive ophthalmologist or an optometrist to our remote diagnostic clinic. We then engage the patient and provide the monitoring service. Why is remote monitoring important? The IRIS registry and the CAT study have shown that only patients that are enrolled with good vision into anti-VEGF therapy perform well in the long run. But the IRIS registry also shows that only a third of patients actually enter anti-VEGF therapy with functional vision. Now, this is not a surprise because in standard clinical care, there is a significant gap in between the offices where an acute onset of a disease can happen, which um, is vision threatening. And today, the AMSA grid really is the standard of care, but it's a subjective test that is low in sensitivity and prone to poor compliance. And this is where remote patient monitoring comes in with the Fossey Home platform. It's an objective visual function test. We provide patient engagement, compliance monitoring and alert generation services so that patients get diagnosed earlier and ultimately get treated earlier with better visual outcomes. Now, the Fossey Home has been used over 8 million times on 15,000 patients. It's FDA cleared, CE marked, and Medicare covered. Real world data that was published this year has shown that 81% of patients were diagnosed with functional vision. This compares very favorably to the pivotal trial uh, performed a few years ago, where it was 91% of patients that were diagnosed with functional vision. And all of that, you know, in stark contrast to the IRIS registry, where in real world, only 34% of patients have functional vision at diagnosis. Our monitoring center ensures that patients are testing with good compliance about 5.6 times per week. Now, our business model is based on a recurring revenue stream that we generate by billing Medicare and private insurance companies on a monthly basis for every patient that is compliantly using our platform. Now, let's switch gears to our pipeline technology, the home OCT, that will be used for the monitoring of retinal vascular diseases and to support personalized treatment. It's an easy to use device. Patients scan their eyes every day at home. Data is uploaded to, loaded to a cloud where we have our AI algorithm analyzing the vast amount of uh, images that are being generated. Again, the service is provided by our remote diagnostic a clinic where physicians have access to the images and the results of the analytics 24-7. The device received already breakthrough designation by the FDA, and we've been able to establish CPT billing codes, which not only cover the services that we provide, but also will give physicians a billing opportunity every month for the review of images and analytics results. And uh, we anticipate that this will further drive the adoption of this technology. Now here you see the analytics our AI algorithm produces. We're identifying and quantifying the fluid in the retina and we're introducing a new metric, the total amount of fluid in the three by three millimeter area around the fovea that we can now track over time. So physicians will be able to review these surveillance reports. They can set alert criteria individual to every patient. And when the fluid exceeds this volume that was set by the physician, then a notification is sent to the office and patients can be brought in, further examined and treated as necessary. Now we've accumulated really substantial experience with uh, the platform. Over 350 patients have been imaged, 600 eyes, over 2000 scans performed and proven to be very usable. 90% of exudative AMD patients self-image successful. The image quality, we had it assess, assessed by ophthalmologists that have been able to identify fluid with a sensitivity 
of 97 and specificity of 95%. And then, as I said, the AI algorithm is able to track a fluid over time. And at the bottom right, you see one of these fluid trajectories, which is really high temporal resolution for the first time. We're able to track fluid on a daily basis. We have longitudinal studies ongoing, both in Israel as well in the United States, where patients test at home. Data is automatically transmitted, analyzed, and then there is remote physician review. Now, the home OCT supports current and emergent treatment modalities, so there's a very strong link between diagnostics and therapeutics, and we are currently providing monitoring services with our investigation platform to several pharma-sponsored clinical trials. Looking at our roadmap, we already checked a lot of boxes. The next steps are really our pivotal clinical trial program that has just started. We expect FDA clearance in Q2 of 2022. Reimbursement, there's good news from CMS, the Medicare Coverage and Innovations Technology MCIT pathway that is expected this month will provide national coverage for FDA breakthrough designation devices. The manufacturing is ongoing and we've engaged a large scale manufacturer. The commercial model, we're going to use the same as what's been proven with the Flossy Home. Of course, OCT is a very well established technology, so we anticipate fast adoption. And as I said, the monthly physician reimbursement should further accelerate the adoption. So with that, I'd like to thank you.